Alright, so what's going on? Today I'm on NHL again, and competitive season's just ended, so I'm going to open my rewards. Here they are. We are going to start things off with 60 players right here, with a prospect of a gold or carbon collectible. You don't often get the collectible, but there's a chance. 60 players, I hope I can get somebody decent in these packs. If not, there is the conference finalist pack that contains three players, which is nice that I can open up. I've been pretty lucky with those so far, so maybe we can get something good. But we're going to start things off with the first pack here. 20 players. Please tell me I can get something decent. Okay, so we do get a gold collectible. The first card of the whole pack opening is a gold collectible. That's not too, too bad, I guess. We're getting a couple of 87s here. Jay Beagle, Yager, Bukestad, not anybody really that great. Mark Strait should be a penguin. Don't know why he's still in the Flyers, and then that completes that. So that wasn't that great of a pack. This gold collectible is the only thing I'm going to keep because it is worth something, but the rest is just garbage. Let's just move on to the next pack. Here we go, second pack here, first pack was terrible, it didn't get any, any player over 87, hopefully we can get someone over 89 or so, this one, that would be pretty cool, Marlowe, Bomeister, Gabrick's a good card, but he's not worth anything, and once again, it looks like we are going to get nothing in this one, Kudovan again, wow, these packs are not very good at all, so that's another pack that we just didn't get anything good in it at all, this isn't looking good. The luck has got to turn around, hopefully, for the last pack. Andre Sequeira. Um, okay. I don't know why Belmare is still in packs, but uh, the World Champion just ended a while ago. But he is, and that's not too bad, I suppose. Are we going to get anything else? No, just a bunch of 87s and finish it off with a Strom. Okay. Um, I really don't think Belmar goes for anything. I'll keep him just in case. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. He doesn't go for anything. We've actually made quite a bit of coins off of Quicksell and the coins that we get here. But this is the big moment. Three random player playoff items. There's no way that I'm going to get so shafted that they'll give me three crappy cards. Come on. I'm expecting... I don't want to say I'm expecting something good, but I really want to get something decent. Okay, Chris Wassel, 88 is not bad. What are we going to get for the next one? A Pajot, another 88. So these are two decent cards. Are we going to get a 83 overall player? Someone like Austin Watson, or are we going to get something sick? Let's go. Oh my god, okay. Pecorine, 97 Rene. I don't think he's going to go for that much, to be honest. I don't really see him getting another Stanley Cup card, but 97 Pecorine. I might just throw him in as a goalie and try him out because I don't know how much he is. I'm going to actually go check right now. He is Nashville's top player. If he's going for, like, more than 200k, oh my god. He is 400k? There's no way he sells for that much. Who would buy a goalie for 400,000 coins? All right. Uh, well, this is going to end this video. Pecorine was the best player I got. Absolutely fantastic pull. That is ridiculous. My luck for the past couple weeks has been retardedly good from EA. 95 Backstrom, 98 Bergeron yesterday, and now a Pecorine. I really enjoy these competitive seasons rewards because I'm actually getting some decent things now, which is nice. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.